welcome back to the channel. We've got a video review now of um, this. It is, of course, the Kazon StarCard Porsche 911 GT2 by Tamiya in 124th scale, I believe. Um, yeah, 124th scale. So, uh, I was uh, looking at buying this kit off um, a, a friend of mine and um, unfortunately somebody bought it before me. Um, now that somebody happened to be Sam, Sam McCord, who uh, then informed me that he'd actually bought it for me, um, which is uh, typical of Sam. Um, he's very generous. Um, uh, you know, just a, a real gentleman when it comes to how he conducts himself and um, how he treats his friends is just nothing short of, uh, well, it's just unbelievable at times. Uh, try, and, try and get him stuff, uh, it, it's just impossible. Um, but he's a, he's a great friend above all else. Um, Regardless of uh, anything he's, he's sent me, he's a, re he's a really good friend, and uh, thanks a lot, Sam, for this. This is great. So, anyway, let's get on with the review. Um, the box art for this is absolutely fantastic, I think. Um, sometimes I'm not a fan of Tamiya box art because it can be a bit plain, and in this case, it suits it down to the ground. All the focus is on the car, which is where you want it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of decals, I would think, in here. We've got a nice black, I believe, that, is that a black 911? Um, with all its uh, sponsorship on. And then on the sides, we've just got a top view. And then all around, you've just got various angles of the same car. Um, really is uh, spectacular to look at. So, without further ado, let's go over to the other camera and uh, have a look on the bench. Here we are then for the main part, the main event as it were. Let's just pop that light on and see whether we get uh, a bit more going there. Let's uh, just take that off there. We'll probably look through the instructions first. We'll and then we'll go through all the various parts. Afterward, right. that one goes there, and that one can go there. It's not very steady. So, uh, we've got a warning on the first thing I see on extending and heating sprue. Uh, make sure to heat sprue with PS marking. Other sprue may generate poisonous gas if heated. Oh dear. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that. Right. Interesting. All right, this is uh, so first of all the uh, instruction manual or brochure booklet, and uh, so we first of all we've got a bit of gump on the um Porsche 911 there, and it's a fold out type. So we start with section one, which appears to be uh, rear suspension, muffler, uh, and then we go on to the bottom of the car, adding the poly caps and uh, rear suspension, front suspension going in here with looks like brake discs going on. And then we have uh, the axles going in there. Front suspension, 
wheels, rear wheel going, front wheels going on, um, de various decals going in. Uh, then in a change to the interior of normal cars where you've got the four seats and the uh, and everything else this is just going to have uh, uh, sort of looks like an interior maybe a battery there um, some uh, nitrous maybe that could be and then a seat in the center so they're very sparse inside we're going to have a roll cage in this one as well uh, so that's going to look nice when it's done uh, if we, especially if we put the effort into it and then we go on to section eight it's adding the roll cage to the uh, the base uh, a windows going in and then we're over the page and we're attaching the body uh, under tray rear wing um, lights mirrors uh, and then the rear wing going on there. Did I say I said rear wing already? We attach a rear wing on 12. Oh, and then you attach 12 to that. And then, of course, just because we've reached 14 doesn't mean it ends. We've got the long, long process of um, a decaling, and there's going to be quite a few of those, uh, as we can see here, and some more there and B then polishing um, which I'll probably cover uh, in a separate uh, video tutorial uh, nearer the time when I do it so uh, it's going to be long long processes of sanding polishing sanding polishing and so on until uh, we get the right finish that uh, we're looking for so nothing much to say on them there's just Tammy instructions are very consistent so uh, no problems there now we come to the decals now Tamiya decals are infamous in the fact that um, they're either too thick too thin there's only one of you know they'll either go on great or they won't go on very good at all but let me just check did I see it somewhere it said cartograph the decals in this or am I thinking of another kit? Um, no. I thought I saw a sign that said cartograph decals. That may be the other kit that I'm doing. Oh yeah, that's the other one, sorry. Not this one. So yeah, it's going to be uh, a bit hit and miss whether I uh, whether these are any good or not. Let's have a quick look, see if we what, what we can find out. So first of all, we've got this little one, which has got all these. It's got some instrument panel decals on there. Um, they don't appear to be too thick, although. Um, they're definitely thicker than cartograph. Um, it's hard to tell on there, but maybe they are a little bit thicker than they, I would like. And then we've got all these to go on. Oh dear. We've got some seat belts, that's nice. Um, yeah, they are quite thick, them ones. You can feel them when you rub your hand, thumb over, or your fingertips. You can feel the the bumps on them. Um, they um, are they in register? Tammy is uh, normally okay for being in register. Apart from when you get down to really tiny, tiny writing, and then they're not very good. Um, the colours seem okay though, they don't seem to bleed into each other or anything like that. So, 
Um, I'd have to say they're okay. Um, again, we won't know until we try to put them on how good they actually are. But uh, they look okay. They look um, they look nice, colourful, sort of thing you want off a sponsor, really. Um, they should be therapeutic, let's say, putting them on. As long as we stick to the plan, do one side at a time, let them dry, and then I shouldn't have any mishaps. Just got to stick to the plan. Let's pop that one back in there. And now we come to the car itself. So let's look at the important bit, the shell. That's a nice, um, I'm going to pop that up a little bit now so that we can see. That's a nice sized uh, body. We've got some riveting work going on the wheel arches. So they've obviously been widened. Um, and, uh, oh, does that pop off somehow? The bottom's got to pop off. So I don't want to. Let's see. There we go, just lifts out. So 1996 is stamped on the inside. We've got some uh, nice finish on it, considering it's uh, just bare plastic at the moment. It's a very nice finish on it. You'd never, you wouldn't get away with it. Um, I suppose you could, if you wasn't really that, um, no, no, it needs, what am I saying, it, need, it needs, uh, needs a coat of paint on it, but it has got a, no sort of raised edges or burrs or anything that I can feel, so that's good, seems okay. Look at the bottom. Some nice detail work on the bottom. This is obviously the engine at the back. This is the boot at the front. Yeah, so very nice, very nice work there. Um, panel lines are okay. I mean, there's not much in the realms of sort of panel lines on this kit. But, uh, yeah, very nice, very good. No problems there. Alright. And we've got the roll cage there, which is not really much to show on the roll cage. Um, and then we've got the rear uh, sport rear boot lid, I think that is there. Uh, It's vented, so let the cool air in. We've got the wing mirrors there. And then, I'm not sure what they are. This is the, obviously the uh, whale, it's not a whale tail, it's, um, I forget what they're called now. I haven't... Uh, Well, it's got a little change in the plastic coloration there, but there's no, uh, you can't actually feel it. You can just see it. So that's not a problem. Um, let's take these staples out. I don't want them in. Them 
getting caught and scratching the plastic. some silver wheels and we've got what looks to be a little piece come off there it is a piece of the um, wing mirror that's the uh, you can see it there it's the goes in the door mirrors so I'm just gonna drop that back in this bag so it doesn't get lost then we've got some chrome wheels which seem to look okay I'll have to decide whether they're going to be good enough uh, for including as is or whether to strip them and um, repaint um, I don't know on that one at the moment because I'll have to do a bit more research into the wheels that they actually had and I'll probably need to find some wheels while I'm out and about and see if they have got this level of shine to them um, I think they may need they may need stripping and uh, redoing but uh, we'll wait and see on that one. Let me just show you the detail on them so you can see. It's not as strong on the sides, but then you're not going to see the sides. Uh, of course, this is where the piece came off at the end there. Uh, Then we come to this part here. So we've got uh, some suspension parts going on. There's not a lot of pieces in this kit. Most of your time is going to be spent deckling and polishing. And then we've got uh, pedals, steering wheel. That's a centre console, I believe, just there. So we'll just have a look through. We got some brake discs there, is it? We got some brake discs. No, they're turbos. Sorry, We've got two turbos there. Or at least they look to me to be turbos. More sort of main suspension here, and we've got uh, the seat, which I quite like actually. I like that seat. Uh, they don't normally put a lot of attention to detail on the seats, but that's a nice bucket seat there. And uh, with a couple of uh, seat belts on there, that would look very nice. And then if we flip around, we've got the um, dashboard. At the, let me just bring this up again a bit more. So we've got the uh, dashboard there. nice level of detail on that we've got the two canisters that we saw in the instruction manual that go on the floor and then we've got like the door cards where the uh, your handle and your everything else like that goes and then at the bottom I believe they are the discs and let me see they've not been drilled through but I think if I can get a small enough drill bit I'm going to drill them discs out because um, I think they'll look nicer for it it might take me an hour to do but uh, I think they'll and then I, I do believe this is part of the exhaust system here on the flip side, nothing really to worry about. Uh, usual sort of uh, pin marks, 
ejector pin marks but nothing anywhere that's going to be a problem at least not that I see um, all looking very good we'll pop that back in there Pop that one back in. Uh, then we've got four tyres, some poly caps. We just get one of these tyres out. I think they're all going to be pretty much. No, they're not. The front ones are not as wide as the back ones. So there we go. We've got uh, slick tyres and a slight seam running down the centre. I'm just going to focus in. Come on. There we go, we've got a tiny, tiny seam. You can see it, you can barely see it. Um, you can barely feel it. But if we just go over it very lightly, just very lightly. If we can remove that, yeah, it's scuffed up a little bit there. Might need a slightly one with a tiny bit more. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Let me see that will um, just get rid of that scene quite nicely no problem there and I uh, didn't check whether we've got writing on the side of the wheels no we haven't but I'm pretty sure no there isn't no writing from the side of the wheels so that's not too bad then because they are low profile and that would be a bit of a pain and then it seems that finally we have our glass and a clear bottom piece, which I don't know what that's about. I haven't built many cars, so I really don't want these staples catching on this um, these clear bits because they will scratch it rather badly. So here we go. Um, I don't know the reason for this. Um, I'll have to look into that, but uh, maybe somebody can answer in the comments below what, what this is about here. Uh, I'm assuming is it maybe an optional extra to have it so that you can see inside from underneath and you know or have it closed in. I don't know. Um, I hope that's not a choice I've got to make because I really don't know which I'd go with. Uh, the glass is crystal clear. No distortion. No curvature. Um, it really is. Let me see if we've got something. Let's use this manual. I'll just show you. You can see through there. There's nothing wrong with any of that. Excellent. So, yeah, that's very good. Even the front lens of the headlamp is nice and clear. And we've got uh, 
an acrylic overlay for the rear lights I think so yeah very very nice very well done um, and that is that so that is the Tamiya Porsche 911 Taze I don't know whether I'm saying it right Tazon or Tyson Tyson Star Card um, Porsche 911 GT2 sports car series number 175 I uh, hope you've enjoyed that review and I hope it inspires you to go out and buy one and maybe build it yourself um, and if you have built one stick some pictures send me some pictures so I can have a look see what it's um, what they're like uh, all that's left for me to say now is uh, um, happy modeling and uh, bye for now